Marvel Zombies Heroes Resistant Zombicide Game. Okay guys, open up the box here and starts off with a free CMON content. Get it here. Here's your little scan code. Um, and then uh, right off the bat, there's the rule book. Uh, rule book, let's see. How many, uh, what's the, there's some missions, missions, and missions. Wow, I look, quite a few missions. All right, the rules, uh, 20 pages. Uh, so 20 pages of uh, the rules, and then it's all missions here. One, two, three, you have a tutorial. And so, ooh, I don't know if you hear that thunder now, but it's pouring here in Arizona. So, five, so you're looking at about seven, yeah, seven, eight, seven to eight missions. So that's quite good, quite a bit. So, um, not gonna get in too much detail here. Uh, this is just the retail version of the Marvel Zombies that uh, the Kickstarter will be out in, I think, 2023 of June. I think it is. I can't remember. I did not jump into that Kickstarter at all. But from my understanding, the rules, the setup, and all that is exactly the same as the as the Kickstarter. So when you play this, you're actually playing the same rules as the as the Kickstarter one it comes out. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll tell you right off the bat, uh, the there is no uh, player's uh, survivor dashboards. Um, it looks like uh, you, your experience, you have experience dials right here. And then it shows you uh, the 27 tokens you get. Uh, door tokens, blue, green door tokens. You get objective tokens. Pretty much similar as, as an actual Zombicide game. If you play Zombicide, you're not going to be lost in this one. Uh, it's pretty much the same. Um, you have standees in this, it looks like. Uh, standees of uh, zombies and standees of... Uh, oh, what is it? Bystanders? Yeah. So, and you have a spawn deck, a zombie hero deck. Each time a zombie hero card is drawn from the spawn deck, a random zombie hero is spawned. Each zombie hero presents a unique challenge. You have a heroic trait deck, a deck of abilities that the superheroes can tap into. So that's telling me right off the bat that there's going to be no uh, searching for uh, crowbars or fire axes or anything like that because these are superheroes. So they have the natural traits or whatever. Uh, and um, so that means, uh, I mean, if you're a superhero, you don't need a fire axe to break down doors, do you? So, you know, so that's going to be cool. And that's going to speed up the game quite a bit, too. So, and then there's a bystander deck, noble characters that can appear during the game for players to rescue. Okay, so that's going to be part of your main objectives of as rescuing these bystanders. I'm sure you get points, experience points for rescuing them. So, and then it gives you a game overview here and uh, the basics. So, I'll put that aside here. Um, well, there's all your tokens. There's your dial. Oh, man. There we go. So, you get, uh, I think... Uh, it's only one to four players, so you're only going to get four dials. So um, that's probably the only difference uh, with uh, uh, the regular Zombicide. You get six survivors here. It's one to four survivors or heroes, whatever you want to call them. So then you got your doors, and uh, that looks like your zombie spawn points. Yep. And your exit over here. And um, these are your board tiles. So if i could open this up i do not have my knife on me but i do have fingernails and here we go i'm trying to make this as brief as possible so don't want to bore you to death so all right so you got your game tiles here oh and there's your standees yep you got your looks like your runners and your uh, brutes and your walkers all right there yeah, on the same side. That's pretty, I mean, that's kind of nice. You got a little standees or whatever. The other thing is if you have, uh, you know, the Zombic uh, other Zombicide games, you can actually sub these uh, with, uh, with your miniatures too. So, and then it looks like you have your bystanders here. Yep. So, uh, oh, boy, if I knew, I know that, I know that's Okoye. I know that one. And um, that's, I think that's Agent uh, Card, or Card, uh, Blonde Chick. Agent 19 or something like that. 
And I'm not sure who that is. That's not, that's not Iron Fist. So, anyways, sorry, man. I mean, I do enjoy Marvel and all that. I just don't memorize all of it. So, got your Avengers here. I, that's a special, special thing. And then here's your tiles. Oh, good. They do still have them numbered. So, you got one R. And they're double-sided. So, and you only get a total of four tiles here, it looks like. So, very well, very nice. Uh, very detailed, too. I mean, there's a lot of stuff involved in there. So, and that's pretty cool right there. Uh, Daily Bugle right here. So, that's cool. And here's the third one. Looks like uh, Subway, looks like. It's one in Subway or something. So, oh, Oscorp. The Oscorp sign right here. So, and then, uh, so that'd be like a, a Green Lantern, or, or not Green Lantern. Er, <laughs> Green Goblin, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Anyways, and here's the other one. So, alrighty. What's that say? Heroes for Hire. So, and then, oh, here's your player cards. Yeah, if I could get it out. There you go. Well, cool. Oh, I can tell you right off the bat. You're going to probably have a, a bet. Yep, that's what these are. Oh, there's a plastic thing on top. Um, you're going to be putting the sliders on these things. So, he's, you know, you got your, you start off with your typical three wounds. And then this, I bet, is your, uh, your power. Am I right? Once during your turn, you may spend one power. Yep. This is your power to move bystanders or one superhero from an adjacent zone into your zone. Uh, right off the bat, the blue, the blue level of Spider-Man has Lifesaver. That's what it is in the regular Zombicide. It's Lifesaver. And then your typical, every yellow, you, every time you get to yellow level, it's always plus one action. Same here. Web Shooters. Once during each enemy phase, when the enemy's in a zone of your choice w within range, two would move. You may, you may spend one power to prevent them from moving. Ah, and Spidey Sense. This is cool. Uh, I can open this up. So, oh, and there's Winter Soldier right there. So you have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six heroes. You get Spider-Man, Black Panther, uh, Wasp, Hulk, Hulk Smash. So, oh, and on the back is just a, like a portrait or whatever. And there's Vision, and there's Winter Soldier. So, assassinate each time you attack with combat blade, you may automatically eliminate one walker. Oh, he's got the Reaper ability. That's Zom that's the Reaper ability in Zombicide game. So it'll be Reaper combat or Reaper walker, Reaper runner, Reaper. This one be Reaper combat actually, or one walker runner. Yeah, Reaper combat. Sorry, I'm getting. I'm just like looking at this and checking it out how similar these are to uh, the other Zombicide games, which is cool because that's what you want. So, so you be familiar with it and just get going. The other thing is neat about this game, this looks like it's a game, boy, um, where it is real fast to set up and go. So, there you go, guys. Uh, there's your player markers. I rarely use those. Those are going to be used for the cards. Um, that's the dials for the, dials for the uh, experience points or adrenaline, whatever you want to call them. It stands for the standees. And then we have... I do like the dice. The dice look really cool. You know why I like the dice? Yep, because they have a uh, looks like uh, blood spots on them, blood splatter. Yep, and then that looks like whoops, getting the camera there, dude. Like uh, the jaws or something, claws or not claws but teeth. So, alrighty. Um, and then we have our card pack here. Avenger sign reference card. Oh, uh, see if I can open this up. I know, I know, I know. I didn't bring a knife with me. So, um, let me know in the comments below if you guys are excited about this. Um, I did not, like I said, I did not get involved in the Kickstarter. Um, first off, it was way out of my league, uh, price-wise. Um, I mean, I, I could have got, like, the, the first stage of it or whatever. First, uh, lower pledge, but... I wanted to, if I was going to, if I go on Kickstarter, I want to go all the way, man. And, um, just didn't have the funds for it. So I got an Avenger sign reference card. So it's, that's the sign on here. Uh, right here. Slide off. 
It's Avengers sign reference card. Roll one die for each enemy in the targeted zone. Heroes are ignored for this attack. Flip the to token to its damage side after the first use. Remove it after the second use. So wow, it's actually used for a weapon here, huh? So you just so it's a zero to two zone, and it's uh looks like don't know what it says for that. That's weird. Uh huh. And then uh your oh your heroic traits. And this is going to be in replace of all the um, equipment cards. You get these, you draw traits it looks like. And there's quite a few of them, man. Like, ambush! Uh, spawn one walker in your zone. Oh, that's a that's that's a, like an awe card, dang it. That sucks. Uh, power up. Discard during your turn. Perform one free power up action. That's cool. So you got determine, discard during your turn, and spend one power, perform one free attack action. Dash. Spend any amount of power to move that many additional zones. So if you have like three power, you can move three zones. That's cool. That's really cool, man. You got mighty, true grit, unstoppable, courageous, courageous, agile. Uh, inspirational. Discard during your turn and spend one power. Another superhero within range. One may immediately perform. Oh, that's like a, what do you call it? Is it tactical or tactician? I can't believe, I think it is. In uh, regular Zombicide. So, well, there's tactical right here. Turn and spend one power, select one zone within range. Two, all enemies in that zone activate and attempt to move towards your zone. Oh, that's taunt. That's like, that's taunt. So, yeah, that's cool. So anyways, I, I just get a kick out of just seeing how similar, uh, you know, I just want to see how similar the cards are in the, you know, to the regular Zombicide game. And then these are your bystanders here. It looks like Jonah, Okoye, Pepper Potts, that's who that is, dang it. And Sharon Carter, Sharon Carter. I, I want to call her Agent 19 or whatever. And so, that's Wong? I thought that looked more like Iron Fist, that same color and all that, but alrighty. And <laughs> Happy Hogan. Uh, oh, and there's your Zombicide cards of Zombicide, Zombie, Captain America, Iron Man, uh, Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, and then you have your Walker cards and all that, just like uh, Spawn and Regular, you know. Yeah, cool. So there's your Brutes. So, Zombie Hero. Oh, Zombie Heroes. Oh, that's cool. So we could extra activation cards. All right. So pretty cool. Very, very similar. Very close to regular Zombicide, which is great. So it won't take long to learn. Um, I'm happy. I'm excited about it. Um, let's see what we got. Let's start off with. There's your zombie Captain America. Um, I might have a little quick slideshow at the end of this so to show you the miniatures, you know, without me shaking it up. And trying to get it all focused in the camera there. So there's Captain America for you. And then, oh, and that's Scarlet Witch, huh? Yep, all zombied out. And, <laughs> Doctor Strange, that's cool. And then Iron Man. I do like the bases. Um, the bases are all already done for you, so it's easier to paint and. Uh, dry brush and all that stuff. Here's a Hulk smash. This is going to be my first one I'm going to paint up. I'll tell you that right off the bat. That's so cool. And then there's Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Dun-dun-dun to Spider-Man. Da-da-da-da-da. Anyway. And you know, he saw, there's always a real, uh, always a major pose of him with standing on the busted brick wall. I just noticed that. And then we got Black Panther. Wakanda forever. So, and then Winter Soldier with his good old, I don't know if it's vibranium arm. Yeah, it's a vibranium arm now. So, and there's Wasp. Waspy. Anyways, <laughs> so, and then Vision. So, the miniatures are very well detailed. Um, Simon uh, Zombicide uh, core sets, all the minis have been improving, improving each and every time and they come out with another set. And this time it's, they are very well detailed. So, alrighty, here's, that was a brief look. 
into oh, almost going 15 minutes here of uh marvel zombies comment below um let me know if you guys got you in line to get in this game here um get on amazon for uh 34.99 35 bucks uh, get it while you can uh they are you can actually get other ones on from game steward uh, like a Guardians of the Galaxy or the Sentinels is another one that's on there and um, There's other uh, Resistant uh, games that are actually part of the Kickstarter, but you can buy separately over at Game Steward um, We want to check them out. So I'm not paying attention on packing this up. So I'm just gonna stop it here since over 15 minutes um, I'm pretty excited about doing this, uh, playing this game here. Uh, one to four players. Uh, might get some people involved, or I might just do the solos on this and uh, go from there. Uh, this will be added to my chronological journey since I'm and I'm only at prison outbreak right now. But this will be added to it. Um, I'll try and do all the missions out of the rule books of each uh, core set. You know, right now I'm in prison outbreak, then I got Rue Morgue and Angry Neighbors and Toxic City mall and then uh, off into uh, black plague and then sci-fi and, and then marvel and undead or alive which should be here soon hopefully and that's it so i'm blabbing you guys take care um thanks for uh, stopping by um i got more unboxing and more content on the way um uh, and that's it so see you guys bye